What's up geeks and gamers? It's Jeremy coming to you with another video and today we're going to talk about it. Everybody's been talking to me about this. I've known about this from the moment it happened and that is Disney has claimed the revenue from the Vader fan film from Star Wars Theory. Now, what do I think about this? Well, I've got some very strong opinions on this. So, most of you should know, but Star Wars Theory, the biggest Star Wars YouTube channel, uh, developed a fan film, a Darth Vader fan film, and it went viral. It went viral because the Star Wars fans loved what they were seeing. And the Star Wars fans will support a good, heartfelt Star Wars story if it has what is most important and that is it needs heart and that's what star wars theory had and the filmmakers and the actors and the creative process it had star wars in its heart and it was beautiful and the fandom surrounded him shared it spread the word and it caught on and it's got over six million views as of me recording this video so star wars theory went to lucasfilm as he said in his video he talked to lucasfilm before he made the fan film and he asked them how he could go about doing this uh, ultimately they told him he can't do any fan funding he can't do any kickstarters basically he has to fund the project with his own money and he can't make a profit he stayed within all of the rules that Lucasfilm told him to stay within. Once the film released, then he did not monetize the film, and it caught on, like I said, over 6 million views. And now Disney has done a manual claim where they have went in through YouTube, and they have manually claimed this copyright. So now there will be ads running on the film, but it will not be going to Star Wars Theory, who spent his own money to do this it will be going to Disney now so many people are gonna throw this at me and I'm gonna go ahead and shoot you down right now I know it's within their rights I know this is what most companies do I know I defend Nintendo all the time and Nintendo does this to people all the time I completely understand but the point here is Lucasfilm has earned zero benefit of the doubt and that is the problem. Can you sit there and go, hey, you know what, this company right here, they're doing what they're doing everything within their rights, uh, claiming something that is their IP, claiming something that should be their revenue because it's based off of their characters, yada yada yada. Okay, that's that's all fine and dandy. But is this company the same company that has for the past year called their fans racist, called their fans sexist, called their fans misogynistic, all because the fans, the fans like me, like you, the people that want to support this company, the people that have supported this company for 30, 40 years, however long, 10, 15, however long you've been a fan of Star Wars, we have been supporting Star Wars, and we have been keeping it alive, even through the slow times. We fans, through our fan theories, through our fan films, through our enthusiasm, we have kept Star Wars alive, and then Disney went in 2012 and purchased Lucasfilm, and everything started to change at that particular point in time. So, over the past year, this same company that is claiming what's theirs... They have been ridiculing the fans because they gave us a bad product because that product was grounded in social justice warrior political nonsense and it wasn't grounded in Star Wars lore or mythology. It didn't honor Star Wars. So when we started to call them out, first of all, they dismissed us. They said we didn't exist. Oh, no, no, there's no backlash at all. Then when the backlash started getting so loud that they couldn't ignore it, then it was just a bunch of angry white supremacists, a lot of straight white males that they couldn't, they just couldn't stand to see women and minorities on screen together. But then it's the, isn't that the same people that you, that have supported uh, Princess Leia and Mara Jade and Ahsoka and Ventress? Yeah, and Lando and Mace Windu, it started to fall apart. Every time they would make some outlandish claim about the fans, it would fall apart due to facts and logic. So every time their, their, their argument would fall apart, then they would come up with another theory about why there was backlash. They would never just admit it. And we're talking about top tier people within Lucasfilm, the president of Lucasfilm. Kathleen Kennedy, who has created this culture, Ryan Johnson, Pablo Hidalgo, Carrie Hart. Then you can go into some of the 
talent, Freddie Prince Jr. You can talk about Chuck Wendig. You can talk about all these people. Then you can talk about people that actually write for StarWars.com that have done nothing but dismiss the fans. So when you show me that evidence, no, I do not understand where Lucasfilm or Disney or whoever it is that actually made this claim. I don't understand where you're coming from and I don't care where you're coming from because ultimately, as a Disney fan, I'm sitting here telling you I have been a Disney fan for a long time and I will continue to be one, but in a certain capacity. Disney only cares about one thing, money. That's all they care about. They care about nothing else but money. And then they're going to try to push their agenda masked onto whatever property they can mask it onto because they know they can't just create a new IP and push this SJW bullshit into it. They can't do that. So they have to push it into a pre-existing IP. So when we see all of that, no, I do not have any sympathy for them. They are basically showing more evidence that they do not care about the fans. And we've known this for about a year now. But this is a move that's probably an all-time bad one. You're going after the biggest Star Wars YouTube channel. You're going after the Star Wars channel that just put, I don't know how much money he put, $100,000 of his own money on the line to create a passion project and then bought out an entire theater just so Star Wars fans can come watch this? And you're going after this guy? You're taking money from his hard work and his project so you can benefit from it because Kathleen Kennedy and Ryan Johnson and everybody else I mentioned at Lucasfilm have done such a terrible job that you're actually losing money on Star Wars. So now you're going after a fan to put his own money out there to give Star Wars fans something that they in return loved. And because you see the success, now you're going after it so you can make money. This is a really bad move, but continue to do it because I've been talking about it for a year here on this channel, and you're proving my point. And again, people can say this about me, they can say that about me. I am objective. Just because I'm a fan of something doesn't mean I won't call it out. I'm a big fan of the Disney theme parks. I'm a big fan of a lot of the old school Disney stuff. I'm always a big fan of Walt Disney himself. I love Toy Story, I love the Pixar movies. I'm a big, big fan of Disney. And when Disney purchased Lucasfilm, I was very excited. I was, I was their top cheerleader. I was their number one supporter. And this is what happens when you piss off your fans. And someone like me is not going to stop. I'm not going to stop until you recognize the error of your ways. And maybe that'll never happen. But that doesn't mean that I'm going to try to stop. I'm not going to give up because you're too ignorant and too stubborn to realize that you are ruining the greatest movie franchise in the history of the entertainment business. Your ignorance does not determine what I do. I will continue to do what I feel like doing. And right now, I, and for the past year, have become increasingly more frustrated with Lucasfilm and their treatment of the fans. And this might be, this might be the tip right here. This might be the worst move that you have made to date, especially with the timing. This is not a good move, Disney. This is an all-time bad one right here. And you are going to be called out by a lot of people. The only people that are going to defend this move are the same people that really wouldn't even acknowledge the Vader fan film. And we know what channels those are. The Star Wars Explained. The Hello Greedos that were just so busy. He was so busy, even though he was doing 30 and 40 and 50 minute live streams, he was too busy to sit down and watch a 12 minute fan film. You know, those channels. There are channels that need... They need the Disney perks. They need those screenings. They need those free copies of Battlefront. They need those perks. They need those goodie boxes. And they're never going to criticize Disney. And that's fine. More power to you. I'm not telling you you can't do that. You can do that all day long. There's a reason why your numbers are going in the opposite direction. It's because people are seeing right through that. But again, the channels that I named, I was a fan of those channels for a long, long time. And I, I have nothing against them. It's just the fact is you can't think you can't take them seriously because they're not going to be objective. They are going to do whatever the mouse says. And as a Disney fan, as an annual pass holder at Walt Disney World for a long time, I am not scared of Disney. I have nothing to lose. Disney can't do anything to me. I am not under their thumb. I am just a fan of them. But being a fan does not mean you can't call these people out. 
So I will call them out. And if your business model is to continue to kiss up to the mouse so you can get free goodies in the mail and get into press screenings and you can get into Star Wars Celebration with your press passes, then go for it, man. I, no hate at all. None at all. But just own it. Please just own it. Stop acting like you are an objective person in this situation with what's going on with Star Wars. Stop acting like you're somebody that we should listen to. No, you're just someone that's going to basically do whatever Disney tells you to do. Whatever's going to keep those goodie boxes coming and whatever's going to get you those press passes. I went to Star Wars Celebration in Orlando last year or two years ago. And I didn't go under press. I went as a fan. I paid my money and I saw the misery with having no Wi-Fi passwords that the media gets. Uh, I couldn't stream. I couldn't post to Facebook or Twitter because the, the signal is so bogged down because you have thousands and thousands of people there. And so I'm going again as a paying fan to Star Wars Celebration because I don't want Disney's perks. I don't need them. They mean nothing to me. But if it means something to you, go for it. The, the bigger problem here is, again, Disney proving they don't care about the fans. They have point blank made it clear. And we've seen ev evidence of this all year long. We've seen their employees go after us left and right, constantly, constantly pushing their agenda. But this moment now with Star Wars Theory, they had to manually go in and do this. They had to manually go in and do it. I mean... You, you, they, they are living in this Hollywood orange mad bad bubble right now and it's gonna burst at some point I'm not saying Disney's gonna go under I'm not saying Lucasfilm is gonna go under but they will struggle and with episode 9 being the next Star Wars film with so much up in the air with Star Wars and so many problems from the PR department with Star Wars to make this move right now against this particular channel with everything going on this was a bad move. This was a really bad move. So unless you're ready to announce that Kathleen Kennedy has been fired and Ryan Johnson does not have his trilogy, get ready for a lot of backlash. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. You guys have a great day, and we will talk to you later.